Now, one last one, and just as a juxtaposition, Prince Ludwig of Bavaria got married this week. Look, it's been in the media, but without the fuss and flurry of British royal weddings. Is this just a product of a cultural dis difference, Esther? Absolutely. And it's also, you know, the fact that Germany has no royal family. Um, this is a distant relative of the last uh, king of, 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 of Bavaria. So it's, it's not really that, uh, I suppose, culturally relevant just because Germany doesn't no longer has a royal family. But there are other sort of minor royal pretenders, should I say, in Europe, like, um, you know, the, the Prince of Romania. Um, that like to keep that lineage to their royal families. But even the, 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 the European countries that do still have their royal families, they're very uh, low-key. They don't ex exercise as much uh, influence or soft power as, as the British royal family, of course. Um, but there are also cultural differences as well. Um, the Scandinavian uh, countries that have royal families, they're, they're more uh, conservative, should I say. They're more streamlined. Um, so it's, it, it is a significant cultural difference, but it's also, it also has to do with the, the amount of influence that they have in general in, in the society and the world at large. Excellent speaking with you. Thank you so much, Esther Kraku, for joining us.